Before I show the level, I wanted to make a quick announcement. I realize that many people who watch these videos aren't subscribed, so as an incentive, I will do a face reveal when we hit 200,000 subscribers. For that video, I'll probably beat Bowser's Big Bean Burrito blindfolded with a face cam. I'm not sure exactly how long it'll take to reach that many subs, but until then, you guys will never know if I'm actually a human, or if I'm a robot programmed to beat all these hard levels. Anyway, back to the video. I spent some time looking for Mario Maker 2's hardest level so far, and came across this one that no one had beaten yet. It's a 100 second speedrun, and it's extremely hard. The creator of this level has a lot of experience making and beating hard speedrun levels, yet this one still took him 50 hours to upload. So I wanted to see if I could be the first player to clear his level, and see how long it would take me to beat it. There's a lot of stuff that goes on in this level, so I'll slow down the gameplay a bit and explain what's going on, and I'll show the clear at full speed, as well as my live reaction to beating it afterwards. Throughout this level, there is a lot of precise movement, so instead of being able to just memorize all the moves, I had to constantly check the timing of my jump presses and readjust Mario's height for future jumps accordingly. For example, I had to delay my wall jumps here, so I timed spinning off this shell correctly. During this part, the skull platform gives a lot of momentum, so it's difficult to control Mario's jump. This next section picks up the pace, requiring a faster reaction time and stronger hand-eye coordination. I did this part of the level faster than normal by doing ground pound cancels instead of wall jumping into invisible blocks that the level creator intended. This section ends with a tight shell throw so I can collect this red coin needed to beat the level. In this part, Mario actually jumps about the height of a taco truck in order to get over all the spikes. Then I have to throw a P-switch, trampoline, and a shell at the right time to get past this section. This Bowser Jr. has a timer for waking up after he gets hit, so I have to be fast with my wall jumps to be able to jump off him again. I forgot to mention that there are no checkpoints in this level, so I had to do all these moves in one go. Now this last section is the most complicated, so I'll slow it down to explain what's happening. This shell has to travel to the left to hit an on-off switch, so I have to be precise with my spring drop to launch it correctly. It's also difficult to retain height here because of the amount of inputs done at once. The height of this muncher is based upon how fast I did the parts prior, so if I'm too fast or too slow, the level becomes impossible with the muncher blocking me. Lastly, these spike jumps required me to use two triggers on the controller to twirl and spin, since using one finger was just too fast for me. Now this final trick is based on ground pounding right as Mario exits the door. If you delay too much, the spiny gets crushed by the spring and the level can't be beaten. Luckily, I got this first try and cleared the level. Now I'll show the run at full speed with my live reaction, but before I do that, I'd like to make another announcement. I now have a public discord that anyone is invited to join. You can give me video or level suggestions, post memes, or talk about whatever. I also have a Patreon now, so if you'd like to support the channel, this would be a great way to do so. Rewards include getting your name on my wall and getting a guaranteed I will play one of your levels during a live stream. You can find links to my discord and Patreon down below. Anyway, here's the unedited gameplay of the level I just played with my live reaction. Oh, my God. 
This level ended up taking me 37 hours of practice and attempts to finally beat it, which is kind of ridiculous for beating just one level. But if you've seen my previous videos, you know that whenever I complete a big achievement on this channel, I like to put something on my wall celebrating the levels that I've beaten. So for beating Mario Maker 2's hardest level, I put a participation award on my wall. <laughs> 